She's just a girl, but she's on fire. Hi, Ali Alvarez here, and today I'm going to talk to you about states, emotional states. Um, why is this important? Why would you want to know about this? If we're caught up in a negative state like depression or fear, anger, um, sometimes it can be hard to move out. And one of the quickest ways is to actually change your state. Um, there are some tools and tricks to do that. But first you kind of want to understand what a state is. Uh, some people will call it your vibration, right? Uh, it's, it's, more, it's a little more of an energetic language. So if we're finding ourselves stuck both if, if, if in our business or in our life and we need to move beyond that, we can work with what you would look at as raising your state. One of the fastest ways to do this is um, through Tony Robbins talks about just even changing your physical posture, right? So if you're in a, what they would call a contractive or a negative state, right, where our body posture is probably going to reflect that, it's actually like, you know, get a yoga class in there, take your shoulders back, open your chest, let some breath come in, stand up taller. And if we're not used to actually standing in good posture, that's going to hurt physically. <laughs> and it's just showing you where your muscles are weak. It's not a bad hurt, it's just that your posture muscles are not developed and, and it, will not, it will feel better in time, but it really is something that you wanna look at because you wanna get breath into your body. So that's one of the first quickest ways to change our state is actually just change our physical posture. Another really quick way to get out of that funk uh, is play music. Music uh, affects our brain very quickly, and the vibrations of the, the music can raise our state, right? And you want to, it can't just be any music, it really needs to be music. And if you're angry, don't be listening to like heavy metal stuff that's going to <laughs> um, reestablish that anger, right? You got to actually listen to something that's going to be a polar opposite and take you out and raise you up. Um, so, you know, anger is something that you don't want to feed your anger, right? You need to raise out of it because it's not probably not serving you on some level. On some level it does serve you, but to a certain point it's not going to. Um, that's another discussion. <laughs> but um, so using music and you want to use some music that's uplifting that actually makes you feel good. And it would probably, and if you're dealing with anger again, I would say that you want to use a song that would make you feel laugh right? Not that heavy metal thrashing, but what's a song that's going to make you feel joy, make you feel love? Um, and it might need to make you cry. If you're, actually, if you're actually caught in anger, you might need to cry and release. So you actually might need a song that's going to make you feel sad because you have, might have to go the other way before you can come back up. Um, so something to think about. So using music to raise your state is another really, really powerful one. Something to think about when you're working with your states and uh, is that they're contagious. And with law of attraction, if you, you know, here's an example. You wake up in the morning and you're in the worst mood. Like you just had a horrible night, you didn't sleep well, and you come down and you are a bear. And if your state is stronger than your partner state, your husband and your, or your wife or your children, you're going to affect the rest of your family and you're going to bring all of them into your state. That's law of attraction right there. Now, if you come downstairs and you're mildly irritated and you're in a really bad mood, but let's say your spouse woke up and they're in an awesome mood and like they just are not gonna take your BS and they look at you and they're like, just laugh it off or they laugh at you. They have, they, if their state or their vibration is stronger than yours by law of attraction, you will match them. You will snap out of your bad mood and you'll be like, ah, oh, forget it, right? So they are, they're contagious. I have a, a little story around this. this. is one of my favorite moments of life um, where I really saw clearly how contagious states and moods can be. I was headed to uh, work with a client early in the morning, and it was New York City, and it was before the traffic really woke up, and it was about 6 a.m., and it was in the spring, and there was a, a sunrise, so the sun was bright in the sky, and there was light, and I remember the street being completely empty, and it was me and two postmen, and we were like jaywalking because there, were no, there was no traffic, and it was like a Monday morning, 
And these two postmen knew each other and they were rolling their little carts across the street, getting ready to start their day, and they were singing opera to each other. And they just had this great relationship with each other, and like they were ready to have the most fabulous day ever. And I got to sit and witness to that. And because I had a moment, a glimpse of their preparing to have the, the best day ever, just even, you know, they just were happy, that leaked onto me. And I was like, that was so awesome. Like how to just watch these little postmen singing opera to each other as they crossed the street and like said good morning. That affected the rest of my day and I had an awesome day and I felt really happy and joyful that entire day. And I know it's because I sat and witness to the state of those two men. The opposite is true when um, like I said, you know, if you sit and witness to someone angry or really, really upset, um, if their state is stronger than yours, it's going to throw you off and throw you, the, can actually throw the rest of your day off. So um, being able to acknowledge and know that your state is in the toilet or if it's in a really good place um, is a really powerful indicator of knowing that you have to do something to raise it to be able to move forward and move into a better place um, and if you or if your state is in a really good place that is an excellent time to do creative work uh, productive work um, intuitive work any of those because our field is wide open so you want to take advantage of when your state is really good and when it's bad you need to do something to get it up um, Really, really important stuff. Um, there was something else I was going to say about that as well. Um, don't remember. I hit silence. That's kind of surprising for me. So essentially, um, the other piece of that is that if we are in a negative or a contractive state, any of like the negative emotions like fear, anxiety, anger, discouragement, that is contagious. Just as much as the, the positive ones are contagious, so are the negative ones if we are overpowering people around us. And that if we are indeed in, a, in that place, it doesn't feel good. Uh, we kind of don't even want to be around ourselves. Um, but it's a great opportunity for us to go within and clean house. Because sometimes if we are waking up at that state or if that state is sort of spending time with us a lot, it means that there could mean that there's something that needs to be healed within us and that we need to look at um, our lives on a little bit of a deeper level, um, especially if there's, if that's coming, you know, hanging around us a lot. Um, and if that's who we're being in the world, if we're in one of these, caught in one of these negative contractive states, um, we're going to attract more of the same. So if you really want to move your life forward and take your life to, um, a higher playing ground where it feels better, it's more abundant, um, you have greater, better relationships around you. It doesn't mean your relationships are going to change, it doesn't mean the people in your life are going to change, but those relationships can get better. Um, and you may, might not even like who you're around, you might have family members or issues with certain family members. It doesn't mean they have to change, sometimes it means you have to change. And being willing to look at yourself and asking yourself those tough questions of what part of me needs to wake up and, and create change in my life. Um, so really looking at our states and, and how we feel is a really be, uh, good place to begin. Um, something that I learned a while back, which was really sort of a profound aha moment, was that people don't make us feel we can't blame our mother because we feel bad inside. It's our fault if we feel bad inside. It's nobody else's fault. We choose our feelings. Nobody else, our feelings are completely irrelevant to the, everything else in the world. Our feelings are our point of view of the world around us. And if we don't like our feelings, we can change them. And looking at our states is the first way to do that. Uh, so I hope this was helpful. If you have any thoughts or questions about this, um, leave them in the comments below. And um, you can also email me. If you get on my list, 
uh, which is something, if you're not a part of my list, uh, click the link below and you can join my email list, my subscriber list, and um, send all kinds of awesome offers and more information, more videos to subscribers on my list. You can be part of the 30 Day Millionaire Mindset series. Um, which is uh, I send out to my list. So uh, yeah, so and if you want to contact me, that's the best way. You can email me if you're a subscriber on my list. You can email me directly if you have questions about this that I would be happy to answer. So I wish you the very best. I have an awesome day as always, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.